let's go through a trigonometry question here and we're going to work through three different variables to get get all the unknown variables here so what we have right now is an angle and the angle of 17 that's what we refer to as the identified angle and if we go across from that what we'll do is we'll label this triangle if we go across from that we get what's known as the opposite side to the looks is called the adjacent to that we call it the adjacent side makes sense now the 90 degree if you go across from that you get what's called the hypotenuse those three sides form the triangle and if you take a look up in the top right corner you'll see the trigonometry functions or so katoa the sine the cosine and the tangent to find the hypotenuse well what we have we have the opposite we need to find the, the hypotenuse so what we'll use is the first one okay and the formula there sine of it'll be sine of 17 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse and this is just a relationship between the two sides given that you have that angle of 17 degrees now we're trying to find the hypotenuse so we got to move the equation around a little bit and our sine of 17 is 0.292 what this is really saying is that the opposite or the relationship between the opposite and the hypotenuse is such that the opposite is about 29.2 percent of the hypotenuse okay? that's that's how this whole thing works so if we were to plug the numbers in what we get is the hypotenuse is 41.1 which makes sense it's going to be a lot larger a lot longer all right we'll throw that one up there now we're going to go and find the adjacent we have the opposite we have the hypotenuse we need to find the adjacent now we can use a, a couple of the different uh, angles we can use cosine or tangent and this one we're going to use cosine so once again there's your formula and cosine is a relationship between the adjacent and the hypotenuse we need to work it around to solve for a and cosine is 0.956 so once again the idea here is the adjacent is 95.6 percent as big as the hypotenuse so essentially it's going to be a little bit smaller and sure sure enough turns out to be 39.29 all right so now we got all three sides the only thing that we're missing here is that other angle we have the 17 degrees we have the 90 and we got to find the third one now we can already do this anyways because we know that the three angles of any right triangle form 180 so if we have the 17 degrees and the 90 degrees well the other one is whatever the difference is but let's just go through and work it so we can use whatever formula we want because we have all three sides we might as well use the tangent because we haven't done that so we have to redefine the, the uh, sides though because now this side 39.29 is opposite that identified angle the 12 becomes the adjacent and the 41 is still the hypotenuse that doesn't change so if we use a tangent our formula tangent is opposite over adjacent we plug the numbers in and we get 3.274 now that's not an angle we have to go run that through our calculator again the tangent function generally a, a second function or tan negative one you might see on your calculator you run that through and you get 73 degrees and that's perfect because if we take the three angles the 90 plus the original 17 plus the 73 that works out to be our 180 and there you have it you figured out everything using trigonometry Thanks for watching.